Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. Hey, 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 what it is, what it do. It's your girl, Desiree. Um, thanks for tapping in. Thanks for tuning in with me. Today, we are going to be doing some permanent vinyl um, on these cups. So I have an order um, for permanent vinyl cups. And so I'm just gonna kind of jump right into this because I don't want this to be a long video. Um, even though I know it's going to be kind of long because I want to make sure that I go in detail. A couple of people have told me that they've been looking for these, um, but they have not seen them in detail. And so I want to make sure that I do them in detail. Um, I might take that one back. I just seen it has some scuffs on it. But yeah, and so I have a customer who wants to put their logo on these. And so for these, you cannot sublimate. You have to make sure that you, um, that you, I didn't even see this. So first and foremost, make sure you check your cups because as you can see, I have a big line on this one that I had no idea about. Um, so I'm going to take it back to Michael's and see if they will um, switch this one out because you do not want to, you know, sell anybody. Actually, I might just keep this one. I bought one for, well, I still want it to be good, but I bought one, of course, to do the test run of it. Um, but how are you guys doing out there? I hope that you guys are creating, getting ready for this holiday. Listen, you cannot make money if you are scared to jump out there. So whether you're um, just creating, um, drop that down below. Whether you create for money, drop it down below. Let me know about your business or whether you... Um, just like to watch either way it's fun but if you are creative listen get ready for the holidays people are going to be asking you for a lot of custom okay all right and so these are plastic cups oh child okay let me slow it down this is what i want to go with it bye no don't and so sorry my kids but these are what i want to tell you so these you cannot supplement on it and so you have to use permanent vinyl and so i'm going to use this one as a tester and i'm going to i have um so you want to make sure that you use permanent vinyl for cups mugs um anything that you're not you know don't want it to come off and so the premium vinyl by cricut these are the brands that you want to get um this is glossy i got red and black because that is my order um but you want to make sure that you get the permanent brand so the permanent premium vinyl by cricut now I watched a video before and I seen that they were using the Cricut brand. Now, me personally, I always use 651 Orco, okay? 651 Orco. And this works really, really well. And so I just got two sheets of that because I already had black of the Orco. Um, but so I've always got the Orco brand because I've always felt it to be better for me. It worked really, really well um, for some projects that I had. You can use these for, like I said, the cups um what else have i used them for i use them for the snow globes which i'm gonna do a tutorial on that next um for um my sister she started a business and so i did her like um her hours of operation with this vinyl for the outside of her door and so it really really lasts um but for the video that i seen she ran it through the dishwasher now of course you're gonna always tell your clients you know don't run it through the dishwasher um it even actually says it on the bottom but you'll be surprised that some people just don't listen they don't listen sis bro and so even though they don't listen you still don't want their product to be messed up um and so that is why i'm going to do a test run with these two um i'm gonna do since this is a mess up cup i'm gonna do half of it with um cricket and then half of it with the orco to decide which i want to do because i want this to be um on there for her i want this to be really really nice for my client for my customer okay so let's jump into it if you haven't already liked this video, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Stop. What are you doing? Yeah, mama, we're Don't we're push happy. play. Why would you push play? I'm in the middle of. All right, love. So the first thing, excuse my family picture. <laughs> the first thing I want to show you guys is Cricut. This is how you're going to um, want to do whatever cutout design that you have. Now, Cricut, I'll do a tutorial in my next video. Um, but they have multiple things that you can use. You can um, use their things, especially if you have the paid program. Um, some are free. Well, they used to be, but they did do an upload, and I believe everything um, is like $2 maybe. Um, but you want to make sure that if you're going to use some of their designs, 
that you pay um now there is ways around it you can always go to google um etsy um and then if you want like fonts because they do have all the fonts here then you can go to a different website but i'll show you that soon okay so for this tutorial i want to really show you guys let's say you have a custom order um and i don't know why i felt like this was important but i wanted to show you guys this part um so this is a custom order this is the logo that they sent now canva now Cricket, has this thing not canva where you could push remove background and it removes you for it for you now because this is what i want to show you is that this one has watermarks and so it almost removed everything and so if you have something that's really hard you'll have to do it yourself um and so you just go to select and then that is how you erase some of the things okay okay so this is a test run but if you um needed to zoom in and get those hard places like letters you want to make sure that you are you can see the white in that one so you want to push that um do that but anyways um erase is if you needed to erase something about the picture um restore would be to bring it back now once you feel like you have it exactly how you want it um you would go to apply and continue um, and this is where you would go if you were just printing out an image through the printer, like if you were doing sublimation um, or the heat transfer papers. But because I'm doing vinyl, I need the cut image, right? And so as you guys can see, this one is really, really messed up. Now, I could have took the time to try to erase some of that, but it would not have been right. And this means that I do not have rights to this file. It is a watermark um, that many people use to protect their stuff so that you have to pay for it etc so as you can see that one is a really really funky and so you do not want to have that you want to make sure that you have rights to the right one here is the right one that i already download and so you would go right here and put add to canvas okay but for now i'm just going to show you guys how i do um how i would do this okay all right so first and foremost we want to size it now when you have a cup of this size um it's not that big so you want to be able to have a ruler on standby all right so you can have a ruler whatever tape measure you have um or you could just look up those settings but for the sake of this video I want to just kind of show you guys how you would do it if you, you know, didn't have anyone around. And so as you can see, um, the cup all together is about, um, it's about six inches, okay? Let's see if you guys can stand this out a little bit. It's about six inches, okay? Um, but you don't want it to take up the whole cup. And so you want to start from where you want it. So I want it to kind of be centered right here and then however far you want to go down with it, okay? And so for this specific design, now if it's littler, this would really just be like um, a 2.3, maybe 3 point in width and maybe the same in height. But because I want this image to be a little bigger, I'm going to do 4 inches. So I want it to come be right in the center. So I'm going to do four. And then I also want it to kind of take up that whole side. And so I'm going to do four. Okay. And so it's not going to be perfect. You may have to play around with this just a little. Um, but that is how you kind of get a rough estimate of what you need. And you can also look at that. And so right here is where you can do your sizing this way or you could just take your arrow and kind of minimize it right there this one is a little over four so a little in between maybe this one is like um went to oh, okay here we go okay so it's 3.62 and 4.462 okay can you see that up top and so these are the heights that I ended up being okay with, 3.622, 4.462. Now, if you do not like that, you can definitely um, figure it out. Like I said, it depends on the sizing, okay? 
And so that is how you get it to stop. So for um, like regular heat transfer vinyl, like the ones that you put on the shirt, um, you put these, you lay these on the mat the opposite way. And so you need to mirror it so that your design um, does not, because you're, you're going to place it down on the shirt, the garment, and then you're going to place the Teflon or whatever you have over it to press it onto a shirt. Now, because this is permanent vinyl you are doing a whole different process and so you're going to want to place it on your mat on the shiny part on the exact part okay um and so here is mine i already put it on the mat i usually just put a little tape just because um permanent vinyl kind of moves and my mat is a little older i have to get it back sticky and so here is how it's going to look. And so back to Canva. I mean, I'm sorry, not Canva. Back to the Cricut app, Design Space. So you would not mirror it, you know? And so if it was a heat transfer on a shirt, you would mirror it. But because this is permanent vinyl, we are not going to mirror. That is the mirror over there. You would click that if you were mirroring, and it would just make it the other way. But since we are not, it is totally fine. And then so you have it perfectly right, and you would just press continue okay and so it is now connecting to my Cricut this is the way you're gonna put it in there excuse my writing on there um, but you're gonna want this side to go inside of the Cricut okay so let's see what there's this knob here where you have custom paper vinyl iron on all of the different settings okay and so because I want to do something different I'm going to put um put it on custom now if you just have it on, on vinyl or paper it just goes to there once you switch it on custom it's where you get these other things okay and so you want to make sure that you are doing whatever you are supposed to have it on now for here um here we go and so it is still a premium outdoor it's still a vinyl but you want to make sure that you're using the one that is for this okay. all right and so the Cricut is all set up with the custom material set um, we are not mirroring it this is where you would do your final checks and so you would see what you have up here light is blinking because it is ready it is ready for the material so you would simply if I can do this with one hand so you would slide that on make sure everything is closed over there slide that in there push that button that was blinking and now your Cricut is ready to cut okay now the cut this is the Cricut cut button and you would just go ahead and push that your screen will have a countdown for you there and the vinyl will begin to cut <laughs> very detailed for you um cricket can be super fun and it's definitely a project that is easy to make that can make you some money so while that's cutting you can hear that in the back still going uh, we have about actually it's done so you want to get your cup prepped okay we'll come back to the cricket space in a minute but you want to get your cup prepped and so i usually go over it slightly with a lint roll okay you don't want anything on this cup when you go to press it. I mean, not press it. When you go to place the object on there, because then it'll it'll make it a lot trickier. Okay, so you want to take a lint roll and you want to just go over it slightly, like so, like that. Okay, and if um, let's say you don't have a lint roll, I have found this hack where you use coffee filters which has the lint free because if you use paper towels sometimes you can get a little lint but i mean if that's all you got you gotta do what you gotta do and then you want to use alcohol it does not matter from what i know okay you want to just dab a little bit of alcohol on that um coffee filter and you want to just kind of wipe your cup down remember we are getting any hand marks from it being in the store we're actually sanitizing it as well um, but we are getting all the marks, all the 
fingerprints, whatever could be still lying on this cup, okay? And so we're just gonna rub that off, place it to a side where it won't get back touchy. And then you wanna go ahead and prepare your vinyl. Back All right, vinyl. so as you can see, that is done cutting. The light is back blinking. You wanna push this to release it off of the mat. Look and check out your image. Um, mine has some small one, small lines, so they were already coming off. That is fine. Okay, we're going to get to the weeding. All right, so I have took my vinyl off of the mat, and I have it here. I'm going to get you guys a good view. Oh, it's like that glare. It's not. It is, yeah, I think that would be my best. Um, I just want to show you guys. So we don't waste vinyl around here, okay? And so I usually look for my design. My design ends right here. You really can't see it here. But so you just kind of want to cut it if you can. Um, just to kind of have some room to work with, okay? And so, cut that square out. This is what we'll be working on. We'll put this over here to be nice and safe as we'll do more with that, okay? And you want to have you some kind of weeding tool. Now, I love this one because it was my investment. Like, sis moved up. <laughs> but before then, I mean, I had some of these ones from um, Dollar Tree, which worked just as well. Um, this or whatever, what have you. But this one is really, really good, okay? And so what you want to do is you want to kind of grab that at the corner. If you already know this, you can go ahead and skip past this. And you just want to slowly slowly peel that okay and so that is coming off perfectly okay now for smaller images it gets a little tricky but this one was pretty larger and it went pretty well okay so you could just roll that up it's really really sticky so you want to make sure that you get rid of that ASAP you do not want it to stick. Now, this stuff in the middle, um, I'm actually going to use a different color. And I don't, didn't know how to get it out without cutting fingers and things. I'm pretty sure I could have just trimmed it like that. But for the sake of time, I just wanted to keep it how it is. Um, now, pull off any excess lines that you may have. Um, I have some in the hair that I'll have to get closer with and do those. But I just want to show you guys. So I peeled all of that off because I do not need that. I'll have to redo this in another color because that is for my design. Um, you would just simply weed them if you were keeping this whole thing. And so we can rush. All right. And so remember I told you we were going to transfer this. And so you want to have some transfer tape. Now I will warn you. Do not. Do. Do not use Cricut brand. Theirs is a little too strong, and so it kind of grips it too hard. And so I got this big roll um, off of Amazon. I'll link it. It's contact. It's really, really good. Um, so I'll link that, but it is a big roll, and so you're going to have to cut that out. I usually just place it on, go a little over the size, and out how much I need I'll link this below all right so you want to have a squeegee I don't know where mine is um, at the moment but for the sake of the video I'm just gonna use my Costco card because anything can work okay and so you want to lay that down flat and you want to get the of your transfer paper down now you want to be very careful with this especially if you have an image that is multiple pieces but since this one is not oops missed some of her head that is okay because it's all going to come up because it's all together but you want to make sure that it's big enough to cover the whole thing okay and then you want to just push really really hard Have y'all been to Costco? Side note, <laughs> it's flat. They have a little bit of everything in there. Like I always buy so much stuff. 
And so you want to put mild pressure on this, right? Doing on top of my laptop. Wonder if that's smart. You want to try. It did not come up. That means I need a little more pressure. So we have that on our transfer sheet. I want to put that right there. We have our cup that should be free of all sides. And I said I was going to do one on each side for this one so that that scuff mark is on this side. So I'm going to do this one for the vinyl. And so you want to have this straight. Um, if you have somebody to hold it, that might be great if you're working with like a cup like mine. If not, um, it's okay. You just want to be very careful because once you lay it, it tends to start sticking. And so I said I wanted it to be right there. Okay. Oops. Most important step. Please, please, please do this step. And so it seems tedious, but it can save your work. Is if you put a few slits in just in case things are not sticking like they should. You want to be able to get to release it and pull on you know on the side i'll show you if it happens you always hope it doesn't but if for some reason <sighs> crafting days vary sometimes <laughs> and so get it right where you want it because there is no lifting up afterwards and so this is a trial i think this should be fine right there and so you want to always either go down with it or left with it okay and so for this one i figured since this girl on this side was taller i would go left with it and so as you're as you're pulling you're stretching it oops i'll set the camera turn a little light for you there sorry about that so I got this side kind of down and I'm kind of smoothing that. Make sure there's no, there's some bubbles, but that's on the tape. And then you kind of want to lay this one down and push and turn as you go. Okay. And so you want to push and pull as you go. Okay. And so you put that one there. Um, and then you want to take your squeegee once again. And you just want to run it over just to make sure that the transfer knows to release, okay? Most of the time it will, but just to be on the safe side, you want to do that. And see, if this was to happen where that got stuck, that part was going to be a release for me. And so that would have been perfect. But thank God, in this here trial, <laughs> it did not stick. So, as you can see... It is on there. Oh, so pretty. Okay, and so that is on there. This can actually be reused, but I don't want to. Okay, I have that piece right there. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is on here. You want to just go over the image, make sure there's no lines, make sure there's no things that you are missing. This is on here, okay? That's on there. Oh, that's so pretty on that cup. I think it was perfect sizing. What do you guys think? By the way, I got these cups from Michaels for only like four, five bucks, okay? Very, very, very worth it. All right, so we are going to try the other one. But this one is pretty much on there. Like, there is no peeling. There is no issues with it. Um, I think the biggest thing was the dishwasher part of it. So if you would like to see um, the dishwasher process, let me know. I'll link that video below. Um, but for now, this was the biggest part of me just showing you how to do the transfer. Um, I am going to do the, the other side just to kind of show you guys which side was, you know, what they look as, as in difference. Um, but I will do a separate video for the dishwasher because I don't want this to be too, too long, okay? So we have our Orco 651 on. 
Let's do the same process for the Cricut. <laughs> y'all so we back i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was detailed enough as always don't hesitate to drop down any questions any concerns anything you want me to just go one-on-one -on -one with you about because i'm all for helping all my different people out there listen i get it you have this creative gene that's calling out to you and yet sometimes it could be like how do you do this how do you do that and it can be hard although those multiple videos out there i want to make sure that mine's is detailed and that i'm not missing anything which i realize i have in my videos i'm just starting out um keep an eye for my 100 subscriber giveaway that's coming up when i make it but okay so we have both vinyls applied okay and i know let me see I'm sorry, let me fix my lighting a little bit. You probably won't be able to see the difference, but I can see the difference. Okay, so first, this was our Orco 651, right? This was the first one that we applied. Um, it was very red and vibrant and glossy. It was the glossy kind. And so you could see that really, really bright. Now I still have to put my words in the middle, but I'm gonna do that separately. This was just a tutorial on the broken one that we had. Check your cups, okay? and so here is the glossy one it is very very glossy I'm trying to get that light to shine but it, this video doesn't do it justice very very beautiful high 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 quality for that orco 651 now i did get cricket because of as you remember the beginning of the video but they said it the orco does not hold up in dishwashing which i'm going to give it a spin and try um and but this is cricket now I will say that the Cricut is brighter, okay? And so you have your gloss, that's like a, a just a regular red. And then you have your, I won't say dull, but it's not as glossy, but it is a brighter red. Now in feel, they're exactly the same. You can rub your fingers across it and feel it, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna lift. Like it does feel like it's a part of the cup for both of them. Um, it doesn't feel like super, super thick or anything on there. <clears throat> but, yeah, so I think it's just a preference of how bright you want it. Um, which one I'm going to go with depends on the wash. And just from me looking at it over time to see exactly which one, which I kind of believe I'm going to go towards the Cricut just because I like the way um, this one was. Now, heads up. As you remember, when I was doing the vinyl cutting, I had put it on that custom setting, which was the premium outdoor vinyl, because that is ultimately what premium outdoor vinyl is for. It's, it's I mean, premium vinyl is for mostly like outdoor um, activities. That's what it was kind of created for. Us creators kind of created different things with it. Um, but so for the vinyl, for the Cricut vinyl, I will say it's a lot more stretchy material. And so that setting was not the best because of how stretchy that material was. And so I had to hold down one end and tear it, tear it off. As you can see, it is very stretchy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very stretchy. Um, versus the, the other one, this one doesn't really move, right? And so it was easy just to rip up. So there is a difference in the, the texture of it, okay? And so I would just say maybe try a vinyl plus setting. I will play around with it and I will drop that if you would like. Um, but yeah, it didn't come out too bad. Um, it definitely would have been a little harder, I believe, if it was a smaller image to do the Cricut vinyl. Just because it was a little stretchy and it was a lot more pulled to it. Um, I will be honest and say I see a lot more bubbles in it and i'm not sure if it's the way i placed it because i was getting really um antsy with the kids coming in from school and stuff so it could have been the way i placed it but cricket seems to have like a lot more air bubbles that kind of grasped in there but once again there is a difference in those colors let me know if you can see it and let me know what you think all right so i'm gonna do the dishwasher test we'll do that on another video 
make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell and i upload videos i try to do them every monday friday and anything in between that makes my creative juices flow anytime i'm just like in the mood of creating and i'm like let me bring my different people with me i always will so thank you for rocking with me this far it's only gonna get better and better we're only gonna grow more and more we're only gonna keep going up the sky is literally literally the the limit like there in matter of fact the sky is not the limit for us different people because it's just different there's no limits okay so i have a so i commentator my friend made a coat and she said you can't tell me that the sky is the limit because there are footprints on the moon well amen you know what i'm sorry baby girl for not letting you say that because that was powerful i don't like that so one more time for the different people you cannot tell me the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Bam. There's no the limit. Moon, I mean. <laughs> the moon. Let's go to the moon, different people. We are racking this out. We're doing this. I love y'all so big. Comment down below. Yes. And subscribe to the Slay Sisters. See you guys next time. We love time. you guys so much. Bye.